just gone to pick up some breakfast for the morning. I was getting some milk when I first saw her. I just got the bread when I saw her again. She was trying to get something off the top shelf. She was having trouble, so I offered to help. Here, let me get that. Oh, thank you, your gentleman. <laughs> I went to get some sugar and then I was finished. I was just on my way to the checkout when I saw her again. She was pushing her trolley. It was full with stuff. Oh, excuse me, young man. Would you mind helping me push this to the checkout? It's just that it's so heavy. I was in a bit of a hurry, but what could I say? So I put down my shopping and pushed her trolley to the checkout. I went back to get my shopping. Well, of course, when I got back to the checkout, I was stuck behind the little old lady. What could I do but wait while she got her shopping out? After a while, she stopped putting her shopping on the counter and wiped her eye. She seemed to be crying. So I asked her, are you all right? I'm fine, I, I'm sorry. Are you sure? Uh, there is something. Sure. What is it? Oh, this may sound silly, but... But? You remind me so much of my son. I do? Yes, he moved to Australia last month. He's so far away. I'll never see him again. I miss him so much. She started crying. I didn't know what to do, so I put my arm around her. Then she asked... Could I ask you a favour? Sure. When I'm about to leave the shop, can I wave to you and... Could you call me Mum? I know it sounds silly, but it will mean so much to me. <laughs> of course I will. Mum. Oh. <laughs> well... She went back to putting her shopping on the counter and I looked through a magazine on the shelf. The next thing I knew, she was waving to me. Yoo-hoo! Bye! Bye, Mum! See you soon! And off she walked. 